was his for real, for real, for real. Hey love, so today on the menu we're having some mashed potatoes, uh, some meatballs with some brown mushroom gravy and your choice of vegetables. So we'll see how I made this dish, continue watching. Caribbean spice, roasted garlic, some parsley, oregano, some basil, some lemon pepper seasoning. Allspice, Chinese allspice, some garlic salt, some paprika, some onion powder. And this is just seasoning and ground beef for so that I'm also gonna add some oyster sauce. So you mix all the seasoning up together in there. Make sure everything is well mixed together. Now I'm gonna add some breadcrumbs that will kind of hold it together. You could add an egg as well, but I'm not going to add egg to this one. Sorry if you hear noise in the background. That's my grandson. Trying to get on my nerve. <laughs> so now I'm just going to roll it into the ball, in whatever size you like. I'm not going to do it too big. And you also can add other stuff to your ground, to your mixture as well. You can mix it with um, ground beef and pork if you eat pork. Some people use lamb, ground lamb, you know, just to get a little extra flavor. But today I'm just using just ground beef. Okay, so it should look like this once you roll it out. You can put it in the fridge, let it rest for about five minutes or so before frying it or baking it. You can put it in the oven. Also, you can add onions and peppers and all those good stuff in there, but today we're just doing it a simple way with just the regular seasoning that we show you. So I know the traditional way you have meatball with pasta or noodles, but today we're going to be serving it with some mashed potatoes. So while my meatball is resting in the fridge, I'm going to go ahead and peel some potatoes and boil it so I can make some mashed potatoes. So here I'm peeling my potatoes. And also we're going to be serving it with some brown gravy, which I'm going to show you after, once everything is done. And for a side, you can also have it with green beans or broccoli, whatever side you like. So now I'm going to add my meatballs to the frying pan. Make sure your pan is hot. And I'm going to fry them probably about four minutes or so. And so everything is nice and golden brown. So I'm going to turn it over now. Make sure it's nice and brown. And while that is doing, I'm going to go preheat my oven to 350. While you're doing that, because I'm also going to put it in the oven for about five minutes. what my meatballs look like so far. I'm just making sure every size of it is brown. We're gonna put this in the oven as I said for about five minutes also so and there's the oven make right sure on it's gonna be well cooked. Okay so this is what it looks like once you finish frying it up in the pot and then I'm gonna add it to the oven in the oven for about five minutes. So now I'm getting ready to make my mashed potatoes. I'm going to be adding some butter. 
Are we going to mash? Okay, so here I'm mashing guys. My shoulder is killing me right now, but we're gonna mush this up and mix it up. And to that I'm gonna add some onion powder. About a half teaspoon. Just for flavor. Some garlic powder and some parsley. I'm also adding some almond milk. You can add whatever milk you like, but I only use almond milk. So you're gonna add a little bit of almond milk. And then you're gonna mix that, and then you're just gonna taste for flavoring. Make sure you have enough salt. I kind of just like it very simple. You can make it as buttery as you like, garlicky as you like. So here I'm just going to cook some vegetables as a side. You can use green beans or broccoli, but today I'm just using some mixed vegetables that I have at hand. I don't have any of those, any broccoli or green beans right now. So I'm just going to fry this up. So now we're gonna spice up our veggies a little bit, add some salt, a little bit of basil, sorry, oregano, and some parsley. Very simple. And just heat your vegetable up. I'm also adding a little bit of onion powder and a little bit of garlic powder to that. Make sure everything is cooked. You don't want to overcook your vegetables. So. It was frozen, so we're going to make sure everything is well done. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope the Lord has been good to every one of you. And I want to say thank you so much to all my subscribers. All those who like and share and comment on my video, I want to say thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And keep loving each other. Forgiving each other. And be good to one another. Okay, so once your veggie is done, I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing my um, gravy. So here I'm opening my gravy. I'm using a canned gravy today. Listen, guys, don't practice this at home, okay? This is just me being ghetto. This is how we do it back home before we had openers. And this is what I'm comfortable with. But if you have an opener, feel free to use it, okay? <laughs> I just find this is faster for me, and I do have an opener. So I'm going to add this to my pan. You can use the packet gravy as well, or you can make it from scratch if that's what you want to do. But today we're going to do it this way. And then we're going to heat this up for about three minutes or so. So I'm just going to be taking out some of my daughter's food here. I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is all mashed potatoes. And I'm going to add some of the meatballs at the top and then this is our gravy okay so we add in the gravy add as much as you like and then we're gonna garnish with a little parsley Now I'm gonna add the vegetables. So on the side, you're just gonna add some veggies. Jesus. Sorry guys, accidents happens. And that's it. 
mashed potatoes with your, your choice of uh, vegetable on the side and some meatballs. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. This is what the Lord has blessed my hands with today. I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching and subscribing and liking and sharing.